I don't know where that stopped at. But I'm going to the scriptures just, to, uh, just for the sake for edif edification, just to show you that it's in the scriptures and to mark those that don't know. All right, and this is all about the swine, man. And there, and the hair, because he cheweth the cud, but divide not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the swine, though he divided the hoof, and be covered footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean unto you. Let me do this instead. Leviticus um, 11 and um, 7. Let me do this instead. This makes more sense to do this instead. <clears throat> okay. So just so you know what a swine is, is that word there is uh, Hazar. It says Hazar. And I like to say Kuzar. For the simple fact of those cause all those thick ass juice. You know? I thought she was coming to fuck with me. Okay, it says hog, swine, boar. Of course, there's different types of pig. The, the, the most high, he creates several, a variety of things, man. A variety of examples. So a boar, those killers, that literally be killing men, man. Uh, Rocky killed one. In the first, first blood, he killed one in the wilderness, surviving, jumped out of the tree. He killed a boar, a wild boar. You know? Cut his piece off, carrying it to the cave like he got it going on. You know? But motherfuckers looking at, motherfuckers looking at the movie like, oh, man, he's a survivalist. Rocky's is a survivalist. <laughs> Swine, that's for, as for bidding food. Wild boar, okay? As forbidden, it's forbidden to eat a swine, man. And this is just a common sense thing that this a pig, a pig is filthy as hell, man. It's filthy as hell. And that's all I want to read with. So let me go back to this. So it says here, gas stunning killing. The pigs, which involves the use of gas mixtures, pigs are exposed to a high concentration of gas, currently carbon dioxide. You know what? Like I said, um, X. Let me see if I can find this. It describes that in the book of Acts. Acts 21. The sun is shining bright today. Acts 21 and 25. Acts 21 and 25. Then, them take and purify thyself with them, and be at charge with them that they may shave their heads, and all may know that those things whereof they were informed concerning thee are nothing, but thou that but that thou thyself also walkest orderly and keepest the law. Verse 25, as touching the Gentiles which believe, and those Gentiles are what we call Israelite foreigners. As touching the Gentiles which believe, we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing, save only that they keep themselves from these offered, from things offered to idols, and from blood, and from strangle, and from fornication. That's that strangle. That's that strangle. When you strangle someone, they cut their breathing off. And that's what the, that's a method that they use. The kill, like I was reading, um, 
uh, carbon monoxide, certain types of gases that put you together. You can't breathe in that in that situation. It, 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 it just mentions carbon monoxide in this ad, but the gases that they use just straight up cut you off. You can't breathe. It cuts you off. It strangles you. And what's, what happens to anybody or any creature that's under these uh, high high uh, stress conditions that have been that's been slaughtered in these ungodly ungodly manners, man? Their bodies filled with stress. What's that? Uh, with uh, that adrenal chrome. You know how they they torture the kids, man. They terrorize the kids and put and their bodies filled with stress. And that's when they cut their throats and cut a vein, a jugular vein, they drain that blood, man. Because their bodies is full of that stress. That's what it is when your body, when you're under terror, your body, your body goes under stress to protect you. It's just a mechanism that the Lord created to protect you from actually suffering more. You know what I'm saying? Stress. And I'm thinking of something else, bro. Adrenaline, stress and adrenaline, your body. And imagine what these animals is going through, man. You know, the animals ain't dumb, man. They just accept them. Animals don't want to die. Animals don't want to be tortured, man. You know, just like an animal, just like a human. A so-called human don't want to be tortured, man. So their bodies is filled with stress and adrenaline. You know, that meat becomes no good, period. The meat that literally becomes no good, man. You know? That's the same thing with these grocery stores. You wonder why you're developing all these sicknesses. You know, some people just literally just drop dead from eating this shit, man. Some people are just, some bodies can't take it as much as others. But those that are still maintaining, man, they sit, you know. My body has a, a, a very low tolerance for that shit. So I, I gotta keep it, I gotta keep it to a minimum to the point. I got, I, I flush, I put, I, I put heavily fruits and vegetables, man herbs in the body man you know that's why i'm in. that's how through the spirit of yahweh shim a lot of us should have been dead a long time ago if we weren't instructed by the elders man you know to start getting into herbs and healing ourselves man i probably more than likely i'd be dead by now you know no niggas boy you can see certain spirits and certain people man that they the straight up up to no good and not those spirits you know, that doesn't look like you have a bad he had the bad the spirit of up to no fucking good. It's a totally looking different spirit, man. You know? But back to the meat, man. This meat is full, it's full of these poisons. Literally, the meat is no fucking good. And that's what happens when the, when the devil uh, feeds you, man. That's the Edomites. That's this goddamn devil, man. You know? And especially in these times when this devil knows. Here, here you go. This is here, Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, go to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He's picking up these, these his efforts. He's picking up his works, man. You know, he's he's speeding things up. You know, he's he's speeding he's pick, he's picking up the pace. You know, he's introducing new ethics, new methods of, of killing your ass, especially with coming up with different types of new new meats and shit. Some peak, the you you heard of the pink slime and shit, the pink slime. He's picking up these efforts on uh, uh, merging salmon with lizards, salmon with snakes. You see certain people sitting, making videos of their raw meat, of their chicken, before they even put it in the frying pan. They season it, but the meat's moving, man. What the fuck did this devil do to the meat? You see? Everybody's seen those pictures. Oh, everybody's seen those videos. The meat's moving. And don't get it confused with those pictures those mobikes bikes making of eating uh, live octopus you can see clearly that the beef and the chicken is sliced and diced. <laughs> you know how a chick like to eat it. 
chicken McNick and it's chicken McNugget, but the meat is sliced and diced and seasoned in it, but the chicken starts to move. This devil's about to make his move, man. You know? So it's introducing more and more of this defiled bread amongst the Gentiles. Because his ultimate goal, man, is to bring in that, which is no secret, the Georgia Godstones, man. He's about to eliminate um what? Uh 7.5 million in all 7.5 million people and uh, I, I just found out I found it on the, uh, from the UN um, from the UN numbers and male and female ratio how that through the UN numbers that shows that um, I know this is going to something else but the UN numbers show that outnumber men something like uh, at the time of the report two years or two three years three years ago uh, they said there was 7.5 billion people on earth and they said uh, I think they said that 5.5 billion is females and the rest were males I'm showing you that males outnumber I mean, it's lucky that females out there the males, you know. That, like I said, I, I, I have to bring that up. But the devil has to, uh, what the devil does, he has to maintain his lie, he has to maintain his, his deceit to keep this bickering going, the male and females bickering for each other. There's a man out there for each woman, and a woman out there for each man. I'm trying to push those numbers to 50 50. See, this devil is a deceitful fucking devil, is my point, man. There ain't no 50 men to 50 women in the world. I'm just using 50 as a number. There's not no 4 billion men and 4 billion women. That the Lord don't work that way. That's in this way, that's not balanced. Because in the Lord's eyes, he require a man to have multiple wives man that's balance to the lord you know but in this time man it's it's highly not recommended for you to have multiple wives man highly not recommended not to have many women man not this because you already know one of them bitches gonna be bad as hell if not all of them gonna be mad that you got a, that you got multiple partners you know so every opportunity they get what they gonna be doing you know what they can be doing Doing their goddamn thing, you know. Doing their goddamn thing until the Lord put them to death, and that's what's going down, man. The Lord is starting to put all these, a whole lot of these adulterers as women. He's starting to put them to death, you know. And a lot of these adulterers as niggas, he's starting to put them to death, man. But actually, that number's going to increase. It's going to get worse and worse. What they're going to know is the judgment of the Lord. The Lord's sick and tired of this shit. He's sick and tired of this shit, man. As, as we are in a world having children, your children are unsafe. You know, in a world like this, where they used to put chastity belts on the woman, the man goes on a little voyage or a little trip, he put a chastity belt on that bitch, man, so she can't uh, sleep around. This is the type of world we're living in, and that was the world a couple hundred years ago, even fewer than that. A hundred years ago. That's just the world we're living in, man. But now imagine a chassis gun, huh? Man, hey, you can hit with charges, man. They hit your ass with charges, man. <laughs> but you want, in this world, your woman ain't your possession. But according to the Bible, that bitch is your possession, man. That woman is your possession. And this only applies to those women that are against the brain, man. Judgment is gonna come knocking. You know? You already know how we feel about the women that are coming themselves to this world, man. Ain't nothing but love for them, man. And that love is up the hell of that shimmy outside, man. But the women that are coming against this truth, man, whoo! These opportunity hoes. Oh, he doing it. I can't. Young girl made the comment to me the other day talking about that's why we uh that's why we coming up against y'all now. And she made that comment because of the Bible. 
I was mentioning the ancient ways of man. The ancient world. That's what we talk, we were talking about, the ancient world. This is a young girl, man. I was mentioning, I was talking to you about the ancient world. And how the how Jacob brought forth the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, that's why the women coming against her now. We that's why we tired of this. Uh, that's why we tired of this shit. <laughs> okay. I don't even realize that the jokes on her, man. On them, period. On them, period, man. You know? You can listen or you can do that. And the scripture says, give it to them anyway. See what they Whether they hear or whether they forbear. What does that mean? mechanics are all Ishakar. They all cool as hell, man. I, they, they, I guess they used to seeing me. They're cool as hell, man. You know? And they ain't nobody to play with. Them motherfuckers will kill your ass. <laughs> they will kill your ass. And by many may have met this. Okay, Ezekiel 2. Let me get Ezekiel 2. Israelite foreigners as well, the children of Israel, whether they look like us or not, but as long as they have that spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Only those who choose know what I even mean by that. Not every nation, but to the only those that have the spirit. You just can't be Edomite on tat. It's funny as hell, it's actually kind of common, kind of comical. That Edomite get baptized and you should hear a goddamn talk, man. And their talk of uh being children of God it doesn't even sound like you know uh, righteous talk literally it's talk bringing in every fucking body as long as you say in their mind as long as you just confess it you know it's so all you gotta do is just just confess it <laughs> you know these devils is trying to be God fearing people man the actual devil man but no this is just for us I send thee to the children of Israel, not everybody, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. For they are impudent children, stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Power. They whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Now look into a couple of these words here. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. A dog means to stop, cease, desist, forego, cease to be, leave undone, forbear, to cease, come to an end, or leave off. 
all right? Or leave off. Whether they were here, or whether they were still there, or they are rebellious, rebellious. Let me look a couple of these words here as we go along. Rebellious means to rebel. Now, if you want to be specific, I should go to etymology. Etymology give you a whole lot more. Let me go up that scripture that I want. So they are stiff hearted. Here we go. Impudent. 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 Cold, cruel, severe, and obstinate. There we go, that word obstinate. Stubborn, obstinate means to be stubborn in adhering to one's own course, unyielding, resolute, resolved, determined, un inflexible, stubborn, to stand stubbornly, you know, so they got their minds already settled to be Hard and difficult, and severe, fierce, intense, vehement, stubborn, stiff of neck. Don't even mention stiff of neck, stiff neck, and rigorous. You know? So he's describing these people to a T. Right? For they are impotent, stubborn, hard headed, rebellious, it says, and stiff hearted. <laughs> You read the definitions of these words, man. What comes up? What, what pictures? What, 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 what image comes up? When I see an image of one of these niggas with a shirt off, tatted up, drawers out, hands down, no belt on, shoelaces, uh, no shoelaces in the shoes, dreadlocks, you know what I'm saying? With a black and mouth or a bun in his hand. That's what I picture. With a black man with a blunt in his hand sitting at the table, sitting down at the table, brother, he the fork chop. You know? So the word there is called which means strong, stout, severe and sharp, hot, firm, hard. You know? Nigga, a nigga. A nigga. <laughs> Second there's just one. Second there's just one. You know, second entry, let me get that. Whether they hear or whether they forbear. What does the scripture say? They, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know them. Yet, yet shall know them. It says, yet, yet shall know. Them. So that day is going to come where these rebellious ass, this rebellious ass garbage that um, terrorized roaming the streets, man, they're going to they gonna know that it was a prophet among them. Because, like I said, the Lord is going to start visiting these fools, man. But by that time, it's going to be totally too late. Because the time was now when that time was for you to repent, you know? That time was now for your ass, your simple ass was to repent. It's, it's too, no, let me correct myself. That time was now where you were to sincerely submit and um, repent. Sincerely repent. Not just because hell was knocking. Not because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai decided to, to visit your simple ass, man. You know? 
what the scripture says, before the evil days come now. Remember the days of thy youth be before I even butcher it. It's Ecclesiastes 12. Remember 12. No. Ecclesiastes 12. No. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days excuse me. While the evil days come not, near nor the years draw not before you oh no fucking tore the hell up and can't can't function like you used to. You can't pop them holes like you used to. You ain't got that beautiful hourglass shape like you used to. You know? Oh, you lose all that, then you start, oh, look, do you, what you, I'm, I'm married to Jesus now. I'm married to Jesus. <laughs> Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, shalt say, I have no pleasure in thee. You know? You know? Oh, man. Oh, shit. What you looking at? What you laughing at? Oh, man, what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jake a clown. Old fools, man. Jake old fools, man. They cool. may seem cool to the surface, but So evil days come out. So like I said, yet shall they know that there have been a crop of moon them. You know? But you want to get into this before it's fucking too late. That's the whole point, man. That's the whole point is just showing you this love, man. Got a card, man. Got a card? Yeah. No, we just got a YouTube channel. All the videos okay, go straight man. to the YouTube. I'll go back. I'll go around. I need to talk to you. Okay, that's good. What does say he wants to holler at me? So it says here. Thou son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. When briars and thorns be with thee, and thou doth dwell among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Niggas, don't they act, don't they come acting like motherfucking niggas? You know, stand your ground, man. A lot of them ain't dumb, a lot of them are just full of hot fucking air, man. hot venom. You know, a lot of them are full of venom with no, uh, no epic dermal needle, no Fangs. <laughs> See what this brother wants, man. But where's, oh, go back into these wicked ass Jakes. I was doing well as I read.
They're just, they're just uh, dumbass uh, puppets being used to bring in that new world order. Everybody knows about the talk of the new world order, but their ultimate goal is to kill them all, kill the people off. Which right now, how many people on the planet Earth? Um, oh, eight, eight billion. Let's say eight billion people. There's probably more there, because you know people are lying. Everybody don't take them census reports. So in order to go from eight billion down to five hundred million, a great mass killing has to take place. And they already tell you right here they're going to do it. Okay, so with this pandemic, get people to get that that that, that potion. Because that's what it was. Perfected years ago. They already been working on this motherfucking potion. They already had it ready. So a lot of them got it, and a lot of them received the faith. They're just a saline. So when the second round comes around, they can get the dose because they didn't have enough for everybody that first round. So their ultimate goal, get that technology in people during the shutdown. And what happened during that shutdown? A lot of the 5G towers went up. Okay? And they turned that 5G technology on. And then people that got that technology, because that's what's in that shop. Nano technology. Like I said, that they perfected years ago. But they told you that, oh, we gotta work on it. We gotta work on the vaccine. That's all bullshit. They just got to people food. So they're gonna turn that shit on, man. And who knows what's gonna happen, man? When they turn that shit on. Well, you see the movie, um, movie was that? Um, 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 Forrest Whitaker. Was it Forrest Whitaker? Yeah, Forrest Whitaker with that white boy, uh, John Cusack, The Sale. If you've never seen The Sale, that's a badass movie, man. They, they, they used the cell towers, they turned the frequency on, and the people started going crazy. They turned it to zombies and started killing. I mean, you already know they put everything on television, but people, what do people think? Oh, that's just technology. That's just entertainment, man. Yeah. That's just entertainment. So, uh, so, uh, we, we, what can you do? What can you I'm part of GMS, Great Millstone. Okay. Great Millstone. Yeah. Which ones are you familiar with? Because uh, they got all of them here in Columbus. I mean, I know all of them. The time that I was in the Hebrew, uh, we call it o o Ohio. Right, right, well, how he's like, you yeah. know the Peraza? What's up, yeah, man? Yeah, Peraza. Yeah, yeah, I know Peraza. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, 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 no? Yeah, but you know, I don't like the doctors, but everybody got their own. Right, but the, do the, the truth is the doctors that the Lord won't push. Yeah, but so. You well, know what I mean? I mean, 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 you know, man. But he was a Gentile, bro. Yeah. I, I, but, I, I, but there's two Gentiles. Yeah. The natural Gentiles used to go back and get the heathens. Yeah, the one that was and yeah, Israelite scattered. Gentiles that was yeah. living like them Christian motherfuckers. Oh, okay, I don't okay. know that. Okay. Another okay. group that puts in the Arbiting Church, and some that puts in is not the Arbiting Church. Don't worry about church. it. I got you. You know? A phone ringing. You good? Yeah, I'm out here with you. So, oh, yeah, Bill's phone. The head is Tahar. The ball, the rumble. Okay, okay. Yeah, great deal. Yeah. 
we go continue for a fourth. We go according to the scripture. That's why we now have every week. That's why we're yeah, because uh, uh, Wednesday, I think uh, he's from there too, but he got. Yeah, they all split from there. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Gorilla Hebrew. Yeah, that, 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 that. Uh, you don't like him? Because, like I said, one group is pushing. I mean, like, like I said, yeah, if we're pushing child molestation, and I'm pushing you know, children for the purpose of the kingdom, how can we come together? That's right. So, like I said, we can be like, I Thank <laughs> you. 
Videos are always going up. again. Thank <laughs> you. 